Hello everyone, welcome. We're going to be reacting to Winter of 83. This is an analog horror, and actually not a lot of people have seen it, but it's gaining some recognition as of late. But I believe that this will be very interesting to react. I am sorry, it's very early still. It's 10.28 for me, so I do sound a bit groggy. We're going to watch at least two or three episodes of this. So buckle in. This will be something new. In January of 1983, most of the people living in the town of Flan Circle as the two disappeared in the investigation that followed significant interviews. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the recovered material had significant irreparable damage. The most irrelevant recordings were assembling to what you see here in Cloud and Rudge order and attempt to explain what happened in the Flan Circle. Oh boy, a whole town gone missing? The oh. time is now 12 a.m. Oh, look at K83 that. K83FC now concludes its programming schedule. I love, I channel love, Channel 83 will I resume its broadcast at channel. 7 a.m. Thank you for watching K83FC, Channel oh, 83. Yes. K83FC is owned and operated by the Spencer Sheridan Foundation. What is the foundation of for? local television to Fawn Circle oh. and neighboring cities in Redwood <laughs> County, Minnesota since 1975. <laughs> Our offices are located at 2713 Pinewood Street in Fawn Circle, Minnesota, postal code 56283. K83FC is empowered to transmit by the Federal Communications Commission, Washington, D.C. We hope you've enjoyed today's programming, and that you'll join us again in the morning. Until the sun rises, look like what I say for my outro. What? Hey man, I was not expecting some ripple stuff to pop up on my uh, reaction on to this, but uh... <laughs> Yo, they, be, they, they do be balling though. Oh wow, we're starting off tense already, jeez. Wow. Okay, I did not expect that. Yo, is that Abraham? Let's go. Smoke. Bigger smoke. The industry. Revelation. Yo, it's that one, uh, I don't remember what he created. I totally forgot. He did something important, though. Yo, they invented vehicles that go... Ah. Lovely. Oh, we are seriously going to American history right now. Jesus Christ. Wait, we don't have that many stars, do we? Ah, I, I need to catch up. I need... Uh, oh, hey, hello? Hear me? Oh! Uh, look, we need, we need help down here. Uh, please send somebody what, to what are you I'm wearing, my guy? We're in the basement of Scott's Manor. It's a basement so cold down here. It's cold? It's Yo, he's bleeding! You have to help us. Yo, You're he kind of reminds me of that one guy in Jurassic Park with his short shirt open look, look, when they're... Getting chased by the T Rex. I don't know why. <laughs> oh no! Damn. They're dead. Well, back to American broadcast. God bless America. And we have entered the moon. Good job, guys. We did it. We raced to the moon. We own the moon, technically. Not technically, it's very complicated, but that, that is not something to dive into. Not, not on this channel. Absolutely not. 
That was beautiful. I love, I love, I love going through American history with creepy, uh, unsettling things. Ah, lovely. Okay, recording now. Are you sure? I don't want it to be like last week where the cameraman forgot to turn the mic on and we recorded an interview for half an hour I before love the they noticed. Of this woman. Yeah, I'm positive. I'm seeing levels and readings here. Okay, but just leave the lens cap on until we get there. I'm pretty sure I smudged my lipstick and I want to fix it before we get any. Do we even see Telling these you, people? It's fine. Let me be the Honestly? Still, so, while we're recording They're... the audio, might as well get some background first. They're talking and reminds Sheriff me Douglas, of recording. How are you today? Of how it oh, goes. not so bad, you. I'm fine. So oh, tell me a little bit about Scott. My God. Well, Scott's Manor used to be the mayor's mansion back in the oh. 60s, with the last <laughs> that voice. Yeah. <laughs> the place was closed for renovation. You should be me. Dude, that's the such a Wisconsin though. accent. And the city had a big budget crisis back then, and they decided to hold off on the renovations for a year. The year became two years, then five, then ten, and well, here we are. Last September, some people from the U of M Science Department decided to rent it out to finally complete the renovations, while also using the space for some science experiment or whatnot. And the story about the manor being haunted. Well, before the research people moved in, we got the occasional call about seeing something weird or about kids breaking in and spray painting their gang tags or whatever. Gang tags. So we didn't really pay any mind to it. Well, but the mayor no being close to it. the farmlands, it's not like it was really bothering God, anyone. God, I love that. Accent. It is weird that the mayor's mansion was like 20 minutes away from the town. Well, that's one of the reasons why the renovations kept getting postponed. There was a whole kerfluffle, new laws got passed, the mayor actually had to live closer to the center of town after that. Mm. And why are we going out to the manor today? Oh, hey now, you know the reasons even better than we do. Yes, the signal hijacking. Look, I like you guys over at the Channel 83. Galaxy Detective is a fun little show I can watch with my kids, but it feels like these hijackings are happening daily now. That's not... That's not entirely true. We had a week or two before the last one. There's not much we can do about it, sadly. The transmitter's not that strong. The reason the call sign for the station has SC in it is because Fawn Circle is really the only town that gets the broadcast, so the station owner just figured to you know, lean into it. And that means anyone with a stronger transmitter on the frequency can take over. That's and actually I wouldn't put it very past some of the view of kind of true to some extent. Well, we can certainly look into it when we get there. If it is then, then maybe you guys can get back to normal. For as long as it lasts. Greg! It's true! Well, it's true. Said, what do you mean by that? <sighs> the station's not doing so well. Problem with the station that barely reaches anybody? Maybe, Chaska, on a good day, is that nobody watches. The thing is, even if somehow the station does get a better transmitter and it can reach more people, it likely will be shut down this year anyway. We don't know that. There's a rumor going around that the FCC is going to reassign a bunch of TV frequencies, particularly the high ones, to emergency services. Mm, interesting. Sticky little UHF stations like ours aren't going to cut it anymore and we'll have to shut down. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, that until makes it sense. actually yeah, happens, we'll to, I'm not admitting defeat. New year of I haven't put five years into K83 just to see it go out like disco. Go well, you can get to it right now. We're down. coming up on the manor. Okay, Greg, switch it off and get it ready for... Jeez, Greg was kind of uh, a little upset. Look at that beautiful manor. Look at it. We're going to zoom in real good. All right, guys. Tell me what you can see. <laughs> I, I, uh, ooh. oh, okay. We're skipping that. Click. Hello. Hello. Anyone home? Anyone home? Doctor Chandra. Hello. Would you be intimidated Jesus. about this voice, or just I, I can't, like I can't go over how friendly decades. the voice is, honestly. Yeah, hi, yeah. I'm not your bot. I'm your, not your sure what's going free. on myself. This place was not looking like this last week. Oh, oh snow so obviously no. got in. Yeah, but it no. looks like it got in everywhere. The yes, place still had intact doors and windows. They had finished that back in November. That's you have to break the whole damn house to make a mess like this. Weird. Dr. Meredith! Steven! Dr. Chandra! It's like a blizzard ran through the whole place. There is a lot of movement inside, though, if you look here? down. There is Maybe footprints the down Don't very recent get right here. However, Rhonda! Yeah, Chris? Radio the station, get some more bodies out here to help search. And call Mercy General and tell them to have an ambulance on standby in case we need it. I'm gonna go check upstairs. Alright. 
Back in a minute. I'll come with you. Greg, keep getting those shots and yell if you find anything. No! Why you leave him? That's a... That's a very good shoe. I would say that'd be worth like 25, maybe 30. If it was fresh, new, you know. Mm, wow, Th these uh, floors are pretty creaky. God damn. What's that? Alright. Just looking for more things, I guess. Find anything interesting, Greg? Broken table. A bed. Oh, here we go. Kinda hard to see, but that's what analog horror is. All right, he's just walking around, checking out. Hey, Viv! Sheriff, oh. I think I found the basement! You found the basement? Viv! Oh, they, they're probably dead already, dude. Is he in the basement, or did he find the basement? Hey! I can't tell, really. Someone down there? Oh, here's the basement. Yo, uh, what? What? What's going down there? Wonder if Ball of Scott marries Ball of Luis. Oh. So, did they make it out? Alright, we'll do one more video. And we'll call this the end for now. Oh. Calling this meeting of the Fawn Circle City Council for January 4th, oh, 1983 to order. Roll call. Thank you, Eric. It's our practice to begin by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Really? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the chambers of the Vaughn Circle City Council. We have a lot of business to go over today, so I suppose we should just get right to it. The most urgent matter, of course, is the blizzard that's going to hit our fine little city and okay, the rest of the western so part of the state. The current weather snow. forecast says we'll have heavy snowfall tonight, a lull in the storm in the afternoon tomorrow for a couple hours, but then we're going to get hit with another 10 inches of snow. God damn. Now, we've put in a request to Minneapolis to send us some additional snow plows, but they uh, haven't gotten back to us yet. In case they don't send them, let's get the word out to people to stay calm and not start hoarding food from the supermarket shelves. We'll have it all cleared away in a day or two afterward. Uh, Councilman Brilling, you said you had something you wanted to bring up with this? Mr. Mayor, Mr. I'd Mayor. like to make a motion to consider purchasing at least two new snow plows. Obviously, we won't be able to use them for this blizzard, but the current plows are 15 years old and starting to get a bit sluggish. In fact, I suspect that day or two you mentioned may be more like three days, given how they operated on the storm a few weeks ago. Several businesses along Mendota Street said they lost some potential Christmas business because of it. Do we have a second for that motion? Second. All right, Councilman Burling, please put together a full proposal along with a recommendation for where to buy them from, and we'll vote on it next week. Will do. Next on the agenda. A representative from the U of M campus was going to discuss the restoration work at Scott's Manor and potentially request for funding and labor with the project. Okay, something interesting now. Is the representative present? Alrighty, if the they representative comes in now. later during the meetings, oh, let them know they can uh, approach uh, the podium and we'll return to them. Yikes. Next, a representative from K83FC wanted to speak to us. Hello, to. Mr. Mayor, Councilman. My name is uh, Darren Frederick. I'm the general manager of K83 FC. Uh, I handle budget decisions, overall programming choices, for... and several other duties this, there. This for several evil. years now, we have been privileged to operate the station, known most around here as Channel 83, out of Fawn Circle. We've tried to provide a lot of entertaining programs to the citizens of this city, as well as providing many jobs to locals. Anywhere from electricians to actors and our original programming to just simple janitors, we're part of this community. Indeed, this very city council meeting is being broadcast for people to watch from home so more people can be involved in decisions involving our fair city. <laughs> However, things have not been going well for the station as of late. Uh, the Syndication the packages for programming are becoming more expensive. Oh my God. We have competition as more and more people embrace cable television and advertisers are not That's as amazing. interested in investing in ad space. 
What I'm here to request from you today is a stimulus into this part of the community. Some additional funds to help us through this rough patch as we adapt to changing standards in our industry. Let me stop you for a second there. Cool. Mr. Frederick, how much are you asking for exactly? Uh, $75,000 over the next three months. Wow. That is a lot for uh, a new channel. Time to order. Mr. Frederick. Wait, that guy has a hammer? Where? Oh, okay. Huh? I could kind of well, not see even it. Wilmar. That kind of money for one struggling business is not acceptable. I know it's a lot, but we give back to the community in a lot of ways. With all due respect, Mr. Frederick, I disagree with some of your assertions. You claim to be contributing to the community with your programming, but my family watches Channel 83. Most of what you show there is stuff found in syndication that you can find elsewhere. We've uh, we, we've had to take on syndicated programming due to budgeting issues for original shows. Frankly, those original shows leave a lot to be desired. They're cheap looking. The educational content for wow. kids has been, well, wrong a lot of the time. And frankly, I know several local actors who refuse to work for you because they're embarrassed to be a part of such terrible shows. Yikes. We, we've had to Send cut corners, down. and the stimulus could and really... most especially, Mr. Frederick, even if we thought the programming was worth investing in, your station's transmitter is very low power, and as a result, you've had several okay, signal so hijackings of late. Some of it's pretty disturbing and, and not at all appropriate for the children of this community. Laboratory? We have been investigating the hijacking, sir. Our and it should be monkeys. noted, they always occurred late at night when kids should have been tucked into bed. Regardless, you want us to invest a not-so-insignificant amount of money into a business like yours that is not exactly proving itself to be worthy of such an investment. Wow. Would you be open to negotiating the investment, at least hearing us out further about this? <sighs> All right. I'm not unreasonable. Make your case and we'll discuss it. We can start Excuse with... Excuse me, Mr. Mayor... I'm sorry to interrupt, but I've just been informed that there have been some developments at Scott's Manor, and oh. Sheriff Douglas needs to speak with you immediately. My apologies, Mr. Frederick, and everyone gathered today, it seems to me, to cut this meeting short. And so will Mr. Frederick, you. we're holding another city council meeting on the 6th. We'll discuss your request again at that time. Of course. This meeting is now adjourned. Well, that was very interesting. Excuse me, Darcy Milbanks? Oh. Yes? I'm Carl Denby, the private investigator you contacted. Ooh. You wanted to speak to me about your brother? Yes, uh, thank you for coming. I'll be with you in just a moment. I just need to shut down the camera feed and, and the audio recording, oh, okay. and I'll be so right with you. She's the one recording right. it up above. When you're ready, I do have a few things I can go over already. All right. I believe that's everything for now. This is part one, winter of 83. So far, I'm feeling pretty invested into this so far. I think that this will be very good because what have I've gathered so far, and possibly you as a viewer, is that something is <laughs> trying to take over either our bodies or just kill us off. And it was either captured in a laboratory or born in a laboratory under Scott's Manor. And there is a personal university that was funding this and possibly had ha uh, an involvement with the current situation that these things are coming. But these things are very connected to snow and frequencies of transmission so that is something we should keep an eye out for i'm sorry if i sound very unenthusiastic but i am very excited i am just very tired and my voice has not warmed up <laughs> so well that's the end of that see you into the next sunrises bye bye